Hello. Today we are going to use a triple beam balance, but we need to talk about some essential features. First, we have the rider bar, and each of these masses are riders. Then we have the pointer and the zero. You want to make sure before you ever use a triple beam balance that it is lined up the pointer with the zero. If not, there is a, an adjustment knob on this side that you can use, but use it carefully. If you turn it too far one way, it will move quickly, and you need to let it balance first in order to make sure that you are turning it in the right direction a little bit at a time. All right, we have a stack of note cards here we are going to measure. So I'm going to put the note cards on here, make sure it is fully on there, and leave it. The first step we want to do is move the largest rider first. If you notice, there are grooves here, and each groove, as I move it into the groove, the arrow points above a number. I am not allowed to use it halfway through because it's not in a groove, and you can feel it when you move it side to side. So I want to make sure it's in a groove. Right now it's pointing at 100. I want to keep moving the largest one first until this goes all the way down. When it's still above the zero, it means the mass of the riders are too light compared to the object. So I'm going to move it again to 200. Still it's too light, so let's move it to 300 in the groove. Oh, there we go, now it's too heavy. We want to reach the too heavy point at every time and then move it back one. So here we are going to move it back one. Now we're going to use the tens because we just finished with the 100s. We know it is between 200 and 300 grams. So now let's move the 10. I always like to move it halfway just to see. Oh, now I know it's somewhere in this region. It's between zero and 50. Again, I'm putting it in the groove, the little line that's there and I can feel it. So I'm gonna move it back to four. Oh, it's still too heavy. So now I'm moving it, or excuse me, that's 40. Now I'm moving it to 30, and 30 is just right, because now I know it's somewhere between 40, where it's too heavy, and 30, where it is too light. Now, if you notice, there are no grooves in the smallest rider. That is because we are going to tap it. So we're going to use our finger or the side of a pencil, and we're not going to hold it and move it. We're just going to gently tap it, and then wait. See if it moves down. Keep tapping it until it gets closer and closer, it has to be perfectly even. Now I know I'm getting close, but I'm still a little bit too light. So I'm going to tap it just a little bit more. A little bit more. And you notice I'm waiting for the bar to settle between each tap. I don't just go ahead and push it over like this and wait for it to move, okay? So we're going back to here. Oh, and it needs a little bit more. Now you notice I went, I'm going to let it settle, and it's a smidgen too low, so I'm going to use both hands very carefully, tap it over, almost to zero one little bit more, a little bit more, and there it is exactly at zero. Now I add up each of the riders, so I have 200 plus 30, so that's 230. And this is seven, and then each line is a decimal. So this is point one, two, three, four, five. So it's 237.5 grams. Remember, all of this is in grams. When I'm complete, I take off the object. I move very carefully all the writers back to zero for my next object to measure the mass of.